talk, sing, read and play with First by Forever. Hello, I'm Emily. And I'm Debbie. And we are from the Logan City Council Library's First Five Forever team. And we are going to share a story with you today. So, the story that we have chosen to share is Shark in the Park by Nick Sharrett. But before we read our story, we're actually going to do our acknowledgement to country. So, if you at home can use your arms to do the actions with us, we can do it together. Are you ready? It goes like this. Here is the land, and here is the sky, here are my friends, and here am I. Excellent. So now we're going to share our story. Have you read this story before, Deb? I haven't, Emily. Well, Shark in the Park is one of my favourite stories. And because it's a favourite, I read it again and again all the time. Because repetition is how we and our children learn. So, in this story, there is a telescope that our main character uses. So, at home, you can use your hands to make a telescope to look through like this. Or, you could get a piece of paper and make a telescope yourself. I have made you a telescope, Deb. Here it is. And if you have some stickers at home, you can decorate your telescope as well. Excellent. So now we have our telescopes. We're ready to see what happens in Shark in the Park. Here we go. Shark in the Park. Down at the park, a little boy is testing out his brand new toy. There's Timothy Pope with his blue telescope. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope is looking through his telescope. He looks at the sky. He looks at the ground. He looks left. He looks right. He looks all around. Good job, Deb. And this is what he sees. What a nasty surprise in his loudest voice, Timothy cries. Now you at home can do this too. After three, we'll shout together, there's a shark in the park. Are you ready? One, two, three. There's a shark in the park. Good job. A shark? Fancy that. But it's only a cat. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Do you see how the ear of the cat does look like the fin of a shark? But it's not. Phew. Next page. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope looks again through his telescope. He looks at the sky. He looks at the ground. He looks left, he looks right, he looks all around. And this is what he sees. <gasps> what a terrible sight! Timothy yells with all his might. Are you ready? <gasps> There's a shark in the park! <gasps> a shark? Oh no! <gasps> but it's just a crow. Kaka, kaka! Can you make a crow noise? Good job. Do you see how the wing of the crow does look a little bit like the fin of a shark? But it's not. Pew! Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope has one more look through his telescope. He looks at the sky. He looks at the ground. He looks left. He looks right. He looks all around. And this is what he sees. Tim's not in any doubt. What do you think he's about to shout? There's a shark in the park! A shark? No, it's not. And aren't you glad? As a matter of fact, it's Timothy's dad. Do you see how Timothy's dad's hair looks a bit like the fin of a shark? But it's not. It's time to go home, Timothy, calls his dad. Timothy Pope says it's safe to say there are no sharks in the park today. <gasps> Phew! <gasps> but Deb, look, what do you see in the pond? Do you think that's a shark? Could it be? Quick, close the book! <gasps> Great job! And that is the end of our story today. 
But before we go, I think we should sing one of our favourite songs. What do you think, Deb? I think we should. What would you like to sing? I think we should sing about our little friends here <gasps> sitting on the table. Excellent. The little, the little green frogs. Yeah, I agree. So, if you don't have a little green frog at home, you can use your hands and you can say galumph. As we sing, galumph went the little green frog. Are you ready? Here we go. Galumph went the little green frog one day. Galumph went the little green frog. Galumph went the little green frog one day. And the frog went galumph, galumph, galumph. But we all know frogs go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We all know frogs go la di da di da. They don't go glumph, glumph, glumph. Great job! Excellent! And that is the end of our little story time today. So thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye! Bye! Talk, sing, read and play with First Five Forever.